Little did I know this would be the last time I enjoy tasty lobster at the Tai Tang restaurant here in Vancouver. Today we're at the uh, Dai Tang restaurant. They're famous for their seafood specialties. We're gonna try their chow mein and some dim sum items. Tai Tang restaurant makes the best prawn and chive dumplings wrapped in a thin translucent dumpling skin. Big juicy prawns in there. Mm. That's really tasty. Mm, that's a real juicy dumpling. And lots of flavor. Ooh, look at these soft steamed rice rolls wrapped around juicy whole prawns. Look at this juicy prawns in this steamed rice roll. Mm. Little did I know this would be the last time I enjoy the house special chow mein here. So you got the huge squid, you got some nice barbecue pork, you got the whole Chinese mushrooms, you got the juicy prawns. And of course the perfectly crispy noodles infused crispy noodles with the sauces of the stir fry. Crispy noodles in there. Oh, look at these crispy noodles. Mm. Oh, yeah. So, this is the special chow mein my mom was trying. Bong yum chow. I'm a shibu, I'll tell you. Bye, ma. Bye, ma. Oh, yeah. Look at that squid. Mm. Lots of flavor in the squid. Really great sauce. So we're gonna enjoy this. Look at the meat. Just dig it out, dig it out, dig it. Mmm, is that ever tasty? Today I was gonna go to this restaurant. It used to be Tai Tang restaurant. Now they had new owners, and the new owners have also closed down. So that's probably a casualty of the uh, situation here in Canada. So I guess the uh, Lucky Fortune restaurant isn't so lucky after all. So they have lobsters, so I'm gonna make some uh, Cantonese lobster stir fry. So they actually cleaned the lobster and chopped it up for me. So it's gonna be a lot easier for me. And I'll be uh, enjoying lobster. Give the lobster pieces a quick rinse under cold water. Chop off the ends like they do in Chinese restaurants. The lobster tail should be cut into three or four pieces. The claw at the joint can be chopped off if you like. For the next step, you need six to eight tablespoons of cornstarch to coat the lobster pieces. For more even coating, do the lobster pieces in small batches in a plastic bag. We heat up some oil here. So here I have some uh, peanut oil. I like peanut oil the best. Uh, just personal preference. You can use uh, you can use corn oil. You can use uh, canola oil, but don't use. Um, don't use the olive oil. Olive oil has a low burning point. Put the chopstick in the oil so when you see it bubble like that, that means the oil is ready to deep fry the lobster or whatever food you have. So I have the heat setting at uh, medium to medium high. So I think for now I'm put on medium. And you may have to turn the heat on up a little bit after. So I'm doing about uh, three runs for the lobster. Deep fry it in three runs.
just use your spatula to mix it up a little bit. Oh, look at that, look at that. Today we're doing lobster stir-fry, Cantonese style. So I've done the first step already. Look at these nice juicy pieces of lobster. So this is the lobster tail. Look at that. Look at the meat on this. Look at the meat on that. Mmm, is that a juicy lobster? I could eat the lobster just like this, but we're gonna do the next step. So let's get started. Put two or three tablespoons of cooking oil, such as peanut oil, into the boiling water. Add about a tablespoon of salt. I like to use sea salt. I'm using the 4K brand of Chinese noodles, so they only take about five minutes to cook. You can use any kind of Chinese noodles for this recipe, such as uh, chow mein noodles or the yi mein, which is the long life noodles. Rinse the noodles in cold water and then uh, let the noodles dry. Here I'll be preheating two frying pans at medium to medium high heat. Then put about three or four tablespoons of cooking oil into the pan. Grill the noodles for a few minutes and then flip over the noodles. So grill the noodles a few times on each side until the right amount of crispness is reached. Put the noodles on a nice plate. Be sure the plate is large enough if you're serving two lobsters for this dish. For the next step, preheat a wok or a pan at medium to medium high heat. Put about three or four tablespoons of cooking oil, such as peanut oil. Next, you add some aromatics, such as chopped garlic, chopped onion, and chopped ginger. Now you're ready to put the lobster pieces into the wok. If you like, add a dash of salt and about a tablespoon of sugar. This will balance out the flavor. Add two or three tablespoons of light soy sauce. Now you just add a cup to a cup and a half of chicken broth. Or if you don't have it, just put in a tablespoon of chicken soup base in boiling water. And once you bring the liquid to a boil, add one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with a third cup of water and thicken the uh, liquids until you get a nice thick sauce. You may need more or less of the cornstarch solution, depending on how thick you want the sauce. Just before serving, add a half cup to a cup of slivered green onions. Finally, add a tablespoon or two of cooking oil, such as peanut oil, to give shine to the lobster. There you have it, lobster Cantonese style.
It's a special dish that you'll be proud to serve your family and friends. Enjoy.